All right guys, if you saw my previous video, it was on installing CM12 on this device right here, the Nexus 6. And I showed you how to install Super SU or Super SU uh, Zip with the install. But come to find out, Saijamod 12 does have root access built in, it's just hidden. So I downloaded Root Checker, and by default, when you run Root Checker on here, right there you can see it says, does not have root access, right? But what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna show you guys how to enable it on CM12. So we're gonna go right up here to settings. So then you're gonna go down here to uh, about phone. You're gonna go to build number and you're gonna tap on it about seven, eight times. It says developer options is enabled. This is really a two-handed device. Then you're gonna go into developer options and turn on advanced reboot just because I like it. Heh, <laughs> it's cool. But then you're gonna scroll right down here and you're gonna see right there root access disabled. And then you're gonna go down here and I would put apps and ADB. Hit OK. And now you should have root access on CM12. We'll go into root checker again. And just to refresh this thing, I'm gonna to toggle old view. This is the view everybody's used to seeing. And I'm gonna go ahead and verify root access. Allow. Congratulations, your device has root access. So there you go, if you have CM12 on your Nexus 6, that is the hidden developer options for root access. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. I wish they would have left it default. Anybody who has a custom ROM pretty much wants root access as it is. So a little goofy that it's a hidden option, but that's what it is. So there you go, if you want root access on CM12, that is how to turn it on. Hope you guys like this video. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like content like this. Give it a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.